welcome back to my channel. Today I have a what is in my work bag video for you. If you didn't know, I do online stuff, but I still also work full time. Fun fact, if you require another visa, the monetary amount goes up if you're an entrepreneur. So your girl will be working for a very long time regardless of what she does online. Fun fact, I know. Anyways, point being, I have kind of been in a different situation. If you're new to this channel, you wouldn't know that I'm Canadian, but I live here in England and I'm just adjusting to life a little bit. I'm trying not to go on too long, but I don't drive anymore. Whereas in Canada, I used to drive, I had a car, I had freedom. Now I don't, so I typically have to bring quite a bit with me to work. It does change a little bit from day to day, but I feel like these are the bare bone essentials that I typically have with me on an everyday basis. And I thought I would show that to you, so let's get into it. All right, so if you saw my Primark haul a few months ago, you would have seen that I picked up this bag. I'm still using it. One day it will be a whole doll, a Louis Vuitton whole doll one day, but not today. This was just eight pounds from Primark, and honestly, it's doing the trick, so. Um, I do really want to get something that's a little bit more neutral, and I think I even said that in that video. I wanted something more neutral because sometimes, like the other day, I just threw on a dress at like 5 a.m. and it was like red, and then this was like totally clashing with it, and it was driving me nuts, but anyways. I'm gonna show you guys what I have in here. So the first thing that's first is just this water bottle. Now I know Swell was like the brand that made these type of like water bottles really cool. This is just one from a store in Edmonton where I'm from. <laughs> um, and we went on like a PR trip and they gave us these bottles. But if you don't have a water bottle like this, I don't know what type of rock you're living under. But basically it keeps it cool or it keeps it hot. So my office is boiling even on the coldest of days. So I've been going through so much water and it's kind of been nice because I don't drink enough water as is. So that's the first thing I've got in my bag. All right, the next thing that I have in here is my phone. So just a normal iPhone, iPhone 6SE. I need a replacement quite honestly very soon. Um, and then it's just got this case from Berga on it. I will have that link down below and I believe I still have a discount code. So I will put that down below for you. This is the bubblegum case. Obviously you can't get anywhere without your phone these days, but really more so in my case, I use my phone for everything, GPS mainly, because I don't know how to get to the grocery store from my house. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that I've got in here is just this notebook. This was just a notebook that was on sale at Indigo in Canada, and I think I got two for like six bucks. Anyways, I am like such a list maker and I'm always writing things down, so if you, um, like pull to any page, like this is YouTube content versus IGTV content. I get an idea, I write it down, and it's kind of how I stay organized. And like, this is like a couple of videos that I've got in mind and things like that, so I've always got a notepad with me. Um, otherwise, I go crazy. It's just not the same putting it in your phone. Okay, so another thing that I've totally got back into, back in Canada, when I was doing like a lot of lash clients, I would listen to a ton of audiobooks because most people would fall asleep during their appointment anyways, and it gets kind of boring just listening to music all the time. So I would listen to audiobooks, podcasts, all of that type of stuff. But now that I take the bus, I only take it only takes about 20 minutes in the morning, if that, and then on the way home, it could be up to 40 minutes on the bus just due to traffic. I have gotten back into reading. Now, one of my best friends, Stephanie, her cousin that lives here in England gave me this book. She reads a lot and she had a bunch of books um, that I could choose from and I picked two and one I finished in about three weeks. I probably could have finished it a lot faster. I wanted to, but I don't know. I've got a lot on my plate at the moment and I really only reserve that time on the bus to reading and if I work an early shift, it takes me so long to wake up. So I find I don't read a lot on my commute in to work on my early shifts. Does that make sense? Anyways, it's just this book called You Don't Have to Say You Love Me. It's time to rip up the rule book. Um, it's kind of fun and like girly and I, I won't lie, the last one I read I liked a little bit more because 
it was like about a English girl that moved to America and there are so many similarities even though the roles are reversed and I'm not American but yeah this one's fun too it's just um, more of a like 2018 girl fun whereas I feel like I'm like an old woman at heart so yeah a book all right so the next thing that I've got in here obviously you need is a wallet now I definitely have too much stuff in here if my mom was watching this she'd probably freak the frick out um, I had to bring my passport into work one day and then I've just never taken it out and really truly honestly I should not be walking around with my passport what if I lost it <laughs> and then it's got my Canadian bank card in here my now new English bank card in here and then just a bunch of rewards cards I have two wallets on the go just because I don't need all my Canadian like discount cards and stuff like that and then it's got like my IDs my Canadian ID and my English ID, so a wallet. I just picked this wallet up at Sears before they went out of business. It was like 10 bucks, I think. All right, those are kind of boring things. I think we're gonna get into something nice. These guys. Studio sent me these headphones about three weeks ago now, and my life has forever been changed. Um, they suction to your ears, like truthfully, they kind of suction a little bit too much because my ear starts to hurt. But they produce such a suction that like everything is blocked out from around you. So um, I wear these at work and then people are standing beside me and then they don't, I don't realize that they're beside me and then I get scared or I will put them on and I'll do some editing videos like this while Paul's watching Love Island or soccer or something. So they have been the best thing that happened to me. Um, I think they're, they're reasonably priced for the quality, but I think they are definitely more on the premium end for headphones, but I do think they're really worth it. Now that I've got things untangled, <laughs> I can show you there is a cord that if you ever did break it, I believe they do have replacements. Um, and these headphones are actually Bluetooth as well. I don't use Bluetooth because it drains my battery quite fast. And as I said, I need a new phone and the battery dies fast enough as is. So I've obviously been using this cord, but I like the fact that I have the variety, especially when I get a new phone and these won't fit into the phone, the headphone jack. So ramble, I have a discount code for you. I will link that in the description section down below. I believe it gets you 15% off. Okay, so then I've got a phone charger, because as I said, my phone keeps dying. I typically do have like a little, it's like a little portable um, charger from Nando's from a press event I went to last year, but I must have left it at work plugged into the computer. But because my phone dies so fast and because I use my phone so much for GPS and fun fact, your bus pass is on your phone over here. So yeah, um, I usually have that charger with me all the time, so. I don't have it today. Kind of scary, because what if it, what if it died? All right, the next three things I have are some lip products. This is just the Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm with peppermint and vitamin E. Got that. My office is too hot, so I feel like my lips are getting more chapped than normal. This is just, it was like one of those like sample things you get from Sephora but it's just a lipstick from Makeup Forever. It's kind of berry and kind of dark, but I find it kind of nourishing and just a little bit of color without too much color. And then this one, oh my gosh, it's so done. Look, I've like dug out <laughs> the inside, but this was just a lipstick from MAC. It was Velvet Teddy. I already have a replacement and can't find it, so I've been digging this out. And then the Makeup Forever one, that was called Artist Natural? Number nine, or N9? If I can find it, I'll link it for you. All right, what girl doesn't need a hair elastic in her bag? Obviously. And then the next thing that I've got, it's just this, um, the Body Shop Mandarin Energizing Face Mist. It, myth, face mist? Face mist. <laughs> It hydrates, energizes, and it's makeup friendly. So essentially you can just put it on like this over your makeup and it's supposed to be hydrating and energizing. Now, I keep on saying this, but it is so hot in my office that, ugh, I just got it in my mouth. With it so hot in my, in my office, that spray feels like the most quenching thing on your skin when you're like dying of heat. So that's how I've been using it. 
Um, it says formulated without mineral oil, uh, paraffin, petroleum, and silicones. So I think that's probably why it's able to be used over makeup because it's not going to clog your pores or anything anymore. So yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying this and it's lasted a really long time. Like I spray quite a bit and I've only used that top a little bit. So if I get through this before the end of summer, I will definitely buy another one. I think after summer I might not need it again, but we'll see. I do think it helps contribute to a nice glowy, dewy look without looking too sweaty. Okay, so the next thing that I have um, is just this tiny little Jo Malone. So um, I picked up a body wash for Paul for his birthday from Jo Malone. And then they had like these hand treatment things where you can like pick your scents and like get a hand massage and all that. And the girls were so nice and they put all these little sample, sample sizes in there. Um, they gave like testers, which were like in a typical tiny test tube. And then they gave us like these little ones. I spray this on every single day and like two on each hand and then across here and still quite a bit left. So we actually have another thing to go to at Jo Malone, like another hand arm treatment thing this Saturday. I don't know if they're gonna give us anything else, but I mean, I wouldn't be sad if they did it. Does that make sense? You know what I'm trying to say. I would love if they did, but um, because this one is the black, or this one's lime, basil, and mandarin, and it's nice. But they gave me a small one of the blackberry and bay. And that one smells so good. I think it's my new favorite. I think it's pushed out the pomegranate noir for me. <laughs> All right, so the last thing that I have in this bag is my computer. So I just have a case from KSAP on here. Um, it's kind of like a skin, so it just protects like the outside of it. Um, my computer is starting to break in here and I had to get it repaired just before I left Canada, so it has me a little bit nervous, but that being said, I think it's for a 2011, and we're sitting in 2000, no, 2000 and, 2012, I believe is the model date, and uh, it's 2018, so it's had a good life. I'm, I'm still gonna cherish it and love it and be nice to it because I don't have the money to replace it right now, so hence the case skin thing on it. <laughs> I do have a discount code and um, all that fun stuff. I will have that in the description section for you down below. Um, and I think I will have to put what skin this is on there as well. I think it's super pretty and super cute. So yeah, MacBook, I think it's a 13 inch, 2012, and a skin from KSAP. All right, guys, that is it. Bet you didn't think that we could say that much about what's in your bag, but if you like this video, I would love if you hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, my name is Nicole. Hello, nice to meet you. I make videos here on YouTube every now and then, and it would be nice if you joined along. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.